Bank records obtained by the House Committee on Oversight have revealed a $200,000 direct payment from James and Sarah Biden to Joe Biden in the form of a personal check. Uh-oh, it looks like Joe got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Before we dive into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you could please share so we can help get it out there. Now, before I dive into this video any further, look at what Comer goes into. Right here, really quick, he explains how the money went from the business to the brother to Joe. In 2018, James Biden received $600,000 in loans from AmeriCorps, a financially distressed and failing rural hospital operator. According to bankruptcy court documents, James Biden received these loans, quote, based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East based on his political connections, end quote. On March 1st, 2018, AmeriCorps wired a $200,000 loan into James and Sarah Biden's personal bank account, not their business bank account. And then on the very same day, James Biden wrote a $200,000 check from this same personal bank account to Joe Biden. James Biden wrote this check to Joe Biden as a quote, loan repayment. AmeriCorps, a distressed company, loaned money to James Biden, who then sent it to Joe Biden. Even if this was a personal loan repayment, it's still troubling that Joe Biden's ability to be paid back by his brother depended on the success of his family's shady financial dealings. So this AmeriCorps health business gave him money into his personal account, not the business account. If you, if it would be a loan, it should go right to the business, right? Because that's what the loan is supposedly for, for the business, for business expenses. No, it goes into his personal account. And then the very same day he writes this check to Joe. This is what they were talking about from the jump. The reason you can't trace a lot of this stuff back to Joe and they've been stonewalled and it takes forever to release all these bank records records is because they're never going to directly go say from Burisma somewhere in Ukraine somewhere in China right to Joe that's why all the family members even down to the grandkids were receiving payments all that stuff is undisputable they have that documented all of these payments that were going to the family and then the family was kicking it back to Joe so this is of course how they're going to mask it but what is the defense for all of this stuff and they're already lining up. Look at this clown, Rick Wilson, right? This is the dude from the Lincoln Project. This dude, Rick, look at what he had to say about all this. And here we go. He's responding to the oversight committee, the screenshot of the check. I mean this sincerely. How much lead paint did your mom wash down with plastic jug dollar store vodka to make you this blazingly stupid? Loan repayment. Those are words in English. Try harder. So let's just go into the world of common sense. What would you want the memo to say? Do you think they're going to put in the memo, oh, foreign money that's been secretly concealed that we've been doing behind closed doors and here's your half, your amount that I have to pay to you. Thanks a lot, brother. Is that what the memo's supposed to say? Dirty, shady, corrupt money. China money. Ukraine money. What else was the memo supposed to say? You see what they try to do and they started, oh, Joe doesn't know anything. Oh, now Joe was in on the calls but they were talking about the weather oh oh there was money that was going to the family but you can't prove it went right right to joe oh so the money did go to joe but look it says loan repayment that there's nothing shady there the family's just paying back the money that they got a loan from joe from you see how they keep moving the goalpost where there's smoke there's fire this whole thing is corrupt and they know it and you have clowns like this with the lincoln project cnn msnbc ABC, they're all going to do the same thing. Look, the memo says right there, loan repayment, case closed, everything's clean. It was just a loan that he was obtaining from his brother and paying them back. They think everybody's stupid. How do you think that they got all these mansions, these houses, are able to live this lavish lifestyle, all of this stuff? You think they got that on a senator's salary? He has all like 20 shell companies. You think they did all this stuff on a senator's salary? He's been in government for like 800 years. All of this stuff is on a senator's salary. That's what they want you to believe.
So we'll see how this all turns out. It's just great that there's still some Republicans digging, trying to find all this corruption because that's exactly what's going on. You have a compromised individual sitting in the White House and just the media is just turning a blind eye, maybe because they're in on it as well. Did anybody ever think of that? Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think about all. Oh, is this a smoking gun or this is a smoking little pellet gun? What do you guys think that all this ends up attributing to? or eventually they're going to get him or he's just going to escape for eons and and nobody's ever going to get held accountable because that's what it seems like they only go after trump and they just turn a blind eye to any of these other individuals that are really having corruption and doing shady business dealings thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like subscribe and if you guys could please share so we can get it out there and i will catch you guys on the next one